Hey y'all, it's Jason. Welcome to another video. I got a question earlier and I wanted to make a video about it because it was a really good question. I'm curious as to the name Yahshua HaMashiach. I know Jesus is known by many names. Could you explain this one to me? I have watched your video and I agree Christ's return is soon. I felt in my heart that the rapture and the return of Christ is near. I'm very cautious. What... I take in off the computer because there are many false teachings. That's true. If you could give me some scripture to back up the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, I would appreciate it. It's a good question. Yahshua HaMashiach. Well, we got to understand that in Hebrew culture, um, a lot of names were given to children based on something that happened in the person's life who is naming the kids and we see that all throughout the Old Testament um, we also know that Mary and Joseph named Jesus Yahushua for a reason there's meaning to the name Yahushua it's actually very similar if not the same name as Joshua in the Old Testament in uh, Greek language and Hebrew language both there was no J sound, as we say, Jesus. There wasn't the J at all. That was really non-existent in Hebrew dialect as well as Greek. So it's impossible that Jesus was actually called Jesus. Um, the name Yahushua was translated into Greek so they could write it in Greek, and that was accepted um, some years after into the Greek churches. And the name that was translated with something like Eoshus or Eoshus or something like that. But it wasn't Jesus. But then they took that Greek and then the Latin and then as the J sound came to be existent in the English dialect, we now have Jesus. So the name Jesus wasn't called upon even 700 years ago. Um, it would have been something else. So to look at the name Yahushua HaMashiach, the last part is pretty simple. The Messiah, Mashiach, Deliverer, the Anointed One, or in Greek, the Christ. So Mashiach is simply um, the Mashiach uh, of Hebrew scriptures, whereas in the New Testament we have Christ or Christos. So what we're really wanting to check out is the Yahshua or the Yahushua. It breaks down. Um, Many people have been raised up in churches and they hear, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. What does that mean? Well, I don't know. It seems like praise the Lord. Well, yeah, that's what it means. But the Hallelujah means praise be. And the Yah, or the um, J-A-H as it is sometimes spelled, it would be more accurate to be like Y-A-H. Hallelujah. Yah is a name of God. Yahuwah or Yahweh. Every time... In uh, our English Bibles, in the Old Testament, where we see the Lord, the Lord is usually all caps. That is actually the Tetragrammaton, it is called, or um, the sacred name of God. Some people pronounce it Yahweh, some people Yahuwah. So there's different ways we can pronounce it. Um, so what the name of Jesus actually means, Yahushua, is Yahweh is salvation. So it's really cool. Some people translate also Yahweh saves. Um, but either way, it's correct. Because Yahuwah, who uh, told him, told Moses, the I am, tell them I am sent you, came in the flesh. So Yahushua, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, said, before Abraham was, I am, and identified himself as the same I am, as the same God that spoke to Moses. Or when uh, Judas and the boys came to um, Gethsemane and they betrayed the Lord there. In the book of John, it says that they said, um, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but they said basically, who is, who is uh, Jesus? And he said, I am. And right when he said that, they all fell backwards. So there's something to that there. He was identifying that he is the I am, that he is God. He's the God of the Old Testament that came in the flesh, made himself um, a servant. And though he was in the image and the form of God, he became a servant 
and he was dependent on the Father. So it's just awesome to fathom. But it brings great glory to his name um, that Yahweh is salvation. Yahuwah is salvation, which is what uh, Yahushua means. And you can go to a concordance at blueletterbible.org and just type in at the search bar there, uh, Joshua Moses and just click on the concordance and it'll take you to Joshua and it will explain how that name is actually pronounced um, Hebrew Yahushua and it will uh, give you a little more insight into how that was actually Jesus' name too as his disciples called him um, something that you can maybe compare it to is I worked at uh, IHOP I was a waiter and I had to communicate with the, the cooks now, I may not be getting my food as fast if Juan's back there, and I'm saying, John, John, because that's not his name. His name's Juan, but in English, uh, it would be considered John, I guess. And so, that's not his name. He comes over, he's living in the States now, and we still call him Juan, just as the apostles and those of the early church all called our Lord Jesus, Yahushua, which um, it brings glory to his name. So... There's some teachings out there that say you must call on the name of Yahushua. If you call upon the name of Jesus, you call on a false god. and this That's all hogwash. Okay, So don't let any stumbling blocks uh, be put in front of you all by any false teachers or people out there. Um, but there is great glory revealed and manifest through the name of Yahushua. And I just thought I'd make a video on it. So I hope this understanding bless you all. If you got any questions or anything else... You're always welcome to shout at me, and I'll answer you if the Spirit leads me, if I have understanding on it. Otherwise, much love in our beloved Lord Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen.